Hi, I'm Dr. Suzanne Seraki, and today I have with me an 11 year old beautiful young lady who's going to show us how she uses her headgear. And so now she's holding the outer bow, it's made of metal, and she's going to place it into her mouth, these two ends, and they're going to go on to her upper permanent first molar teeth on either side. So go ahead now and show us how you do that. Good. Okay. So now let's just, if you could just rest your head back before you put that part on. Just rest on the pillow behind you. I'm going to just show everybody where that went. So here we can see how that prong went into this tube on the molar band here and then the same thing on this side. Now if you notice, this is called the outer bow, this is the inner bow, so that's locked into her upper teeth and if you just open really big for us, you can see that she has an appliance that goes across the palate and it is an expansion appliance which is widening her upper jaw and it's also stabilizing the the arch from left to right. Okay, so now we're going to attach the straps to the outer bow. I'll show you how you to do that. That was amazing. Well done. So now this is called a high pull or an occipital pull headgear and the, the, uh, it's stabilized on her skull or on the, her top of her head. And then these blue straps are elasticized. So they put an elastic force onto this outer bow and that force then is delivered to the inner bow which is delivered to her teeth. And the idea behind this to slow down the forward growth of her upper jaw, allowing her lower jaw to continue to grow forward and thereby balance her facial profile and correct her bite position. So bite together for me. So we have a protrusion of her upper teeth over her lower teeth and that will be partially corrected by the wearing of the headgear. How many hours did I tell you you should try to wear the headgear every day? Do you like, like as I said, like this? So you can do it after school, right? So after school and to sleep every night. Yeah. Do you have any problem wearing it to bed at night? Yeah. No. How about sleeping? Do you find you have to sleep on your side? Or Not really. And does it ever come no, off no. while you sleep? Not really. And is it uncomfortable now that you're used to it? No, I'm, I'm always used to it. And Excellent. So it doesn't hurt to wear. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank That's you. beautiful.